Good morning. I'm Kevin Turner of the Department of Mechanical Engineering and Applied Mechanics. Adhesion, or how materials stick together, is one of my research interests and what I'd like to talk to you about today. While the basic forces that govern adhesion have been understood for decades, making materials stick in new ways is still an ongoing engineering challenge. You can think of many different ways to have materials stick together. Five-minute epoxy, super glue, and solder, for example, might come to mind. But we're particularly interested in materials that stick together when simply contacted at room temperature. In order to understand adhesion at room temperature, you have to realize that there are surface forces everywhere. On that window, on that wall, on this podium, there are surface forces known as Van der Waals forces that can cause adhesion. But most surfaces are rough, and because of this roughness, the surfaces don't come into close enough contact in order to have adhesion. Such that in order to make adhesion at room temperature, you need to figure out a way to have the surfaces come into intimate contact. One way is to polish the wafers or the materials very smooth, right? So a semiconductor, a wafer, or glass, if polished smooth enough, can be adhered at room temperature. However, most materials can't be polished that smooth, or it may not be practical. We can't polish that wall if we want to stick something to it. And so the solution instead is to make materials soft, materials that can conform to the roughness on the surface. This is the solution that's used in the standard sticky tape, and while 3M advertised it as advertises it as being magic, it's really materials engineering that allows you to achieve this softness. Nature realizes this adhesion um, in animals like the gecko by actually achieving softness through very fine arrays of hairs on the end of a gecko pad. They have a very complex structure that allows them to conform to surfaces, but it also allows it to be easily released from a surface on demand. And while many engineers have tried to copy the gecko because it's so great, something that's been realized is that nature's still much better at making nanoscale, complex 3D structures than we are. In my group, one approach to overcoming this has been to develop new strategies using engineering concepts in order to make materials that stick and can be released much like the gecko, but without the complex geometries by using a composite material system. And while I don't have time to go into details in the composite material system that we use, I want to emphasize that when we came up with this new concept, this new innovation in tunable adhesion, we realized this not through trial and error, right? But we realized it through engineering. We started out by understanding the mechanics of the problem and used that mechanics to develop the concept. We used computational simulations to design the fibers, and then we used manufacturing techniques, ones that are developed in other industries to actually build these surfaces. And so I want to emphasize that innovation comes through engineering and through this systematic process. Thank you.